Oh, wait a minute, M2. We did it in the wrong spot, didn't we? Because this is the back side of it. That's true, so it would be here, wouldn't it? <clears throat> the black? Here or... We're doing here the black. Or... Yeah, we're doing the, the black. black I don't know where it would be. It can't be there because that's where the red one is. Well, when we flip it, the red one's here, actually. If oh. we just turn it over, the red one's there, so. It maybe it's the be... one at the top right there. Oh, yeah, there maybe. Or this that one? one? That one or the, the one across from it? Okay. Oh. Give that a go. <laughs> Please. Ah, uh -oh. no. Okay, try the other, other one. Try <laughs> I'm the really one lost. Like. Try the one that you oh, said, like with the red dots. He just called you fat. So this one down here is I know I haven't tried yet. No, it's okay. Like it's gotta really be on a diagonal. Please. Oh, that, it, oh, yeah. oh, oh, wow. I'm so confused. We should have got somebody to cut out one of these with a piece of paper. Oh. That would have solved it immediately. I was, I was, you know, actually, I was halfway there. Jim got his uh, blunted scissors that he stole from kindergarten, and he's like, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you assume the uh, truth? Surprisingly, still. Mrs. Albert wouldn't let me have him, so I took him. I don't know anything that would aid your investigation. I'm useless. Just make do that puzzle for no reason. Not at all. This small gear is more than enough for us to go on. Sure you don't want the lint? No, you know what? You keep you know what? Keep that. I'll come back okay. to it, let me tell you. But uh, you know what? I will take that lint, you never know. I don't wonder why it. you're giving me this to use. I believe you're a good man, Professor. Darn I right. you points. I'm confident you'll put this whole puzzle together. I appreciate the vote of confidence, Matthew. You found a strange gizmo and some lint. I love how this this depressing moment is involved with this goofy music in the background. <laughs> Let's ask Chimney, shall we? That's it. Is this everyone who is present at the site of the crime? I believe we're missing no! Raymond, sir. Oh my God! What? <laughs> Raymond. The three I just died. Poor, yeah, poor sap. Like, how many kills? 20? Oh. Where is he? And what on earth is he doing? Matthew! Fetch Raymond at one. Fetch the cat as well! Well, to be honest, man, I'm uh, thinking on it. I've not seen Raymond for hours now. Who's Raymond? <laughs> what? Don't tell me that he was taken as well. No, hold on a moment. He's a suspect too. <clears throat> Perhaps he fled the scene of the crime. Where could he be at a time like this? What if the murder got Raymond too? Let's talk to Deadly. He might know something. Ah uh, yes, let's talk to him. He knows what you did. You'll just have to do it for him, Tyler. Alright. Oh, poor Simon. Poor Simon. I can't believe I'm talking to you again. Alright, Deadly room? was useless. Let's talk to Matthew. No, let's leave the room. Can we what leave, the room? leave the room? Leave the room. Oh, wait! Oh, oh hey, where did the lady die? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Luke's brain finally turned oh, back on. I believe Madame has retired to the adjoining room to relax on her own. Bye, she's trying to she get away with the body! Woman. But it's only natural. She needs to rest after a terrible event like that. What this. are you talking about? She's ugly. I mean, very well, then. Would you please let her know that I have something I'd like to talk to her about? We all try, but she's very moody. <laughs> but of course, Professor, please wait here. I'll just tell okay. Her. It's always the button. He's down here, my act like an ice queen. But I guess even she was shaken by the days it been. I guess so, Luke. Look, if you wish to ever become a true gentleman, you need to start showing a little more sensitivity. <laughs> Learn it from me! Of course, my best man. <laughs> Apologize, that was wrong of me. Yeah, you're... Madame will see you now. Of course Just she would. Just head back through brat. the doorway on the left. See, there we go. Goodbye, dear <laughs> Hello, my lady! <laughs> Bye! Hey, 
What a lovely pair. Lovely balls. Got in Paris. Mm. Lady Dim 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 Say it again. Dahlia. Dahlia. <laughs> I have a deep what suspicion this murder is connected to the mystery of the golden apple. Fucking mm. crap. <laughs> it's too early to say for sure, but I think that it's highly probable that the two matters are linked. And you think that Raymond is somehow involved in all of this? You bet your sweet bippy I know. <laughs> Potentially, yes. However, as you yet, as, as yet, we don't have enough information to draw any solid conclusions. Shut your mouth, Luke. Shut your mouth, Luke. I hear you in the other world. Any solid conclusions. I see. Yes. That's so me. <laughs> Lady Holiday. If that's the case, I have a request for you, Professor. Find Raymond and bring him back here. I can go to the kitchen. I think Tyler died. Please. <laughs> Let I reconsider the suspect in this brutal crime. I must prove my innocence. You wench. <laughs> I mean, yeah, uh, as you wish, Lady Tyler. We will ask around town to see what we can find. Did you just call me Lady Dyler? <laughs> I couldn't remember Lady your name again. Dyler. My brain I appreciate your help, <laughs> Professor, if that's who you really are. I am. Um... Well, then, I'll be awaiting the good news in the parlor. Hmm. <laughs> Goodbye. Yes. We can now got a Oh, him! Raymond. Oh, that's Raymond. The missing yeah. Raymond. Yeah, Raymond. Rayman! Ah, Rayman! Rayman and Monica Boy! Rayman and Monica Boy! Let's look around for some clues real quick. I think I got a ah, there's a clue in my pocket. <laughs> what? There we go. Hmm. Lovely. <laughs> oh my god, the old lady! But the woman with the giant nose! Birds me. Look at this picture. Oh, that's a little girl. Look! Luke, you have to. Oh, what is it, Professor? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, it isn't that isn't that Lady Dahlia? She's holding a baby. My name's not Lady Dahlia. Lady that Lady baby Lady. must be a Baron Reynolds' daughter then. Flora was her name, wasn't it? Oh, she what a cute baby. M1, straight up, that's M1. <laughs> What a good baby. Lady Dahlia hasn't changed much, has she? No, she's still a wench. You know, look, they say true beauty never ages. Well, that's a lie. <laughs> ages like cheese. <laughs> I suppose so, Professor. I know so. I've had five yeah, wives in my so. life. Maybe we <laughs> had five wives. Well, Maybe we can okay. ask Lady Dahlia about it. <laughs> Professor, you're Ever... awful, man. <laughs> <laughs> my head gets, my head gets <laughs> taller <laughs> the wives I lose. Find Raymond. Every time I lose a wife, my hat gets taller. <laughs> I grew it. All right, uh, we're not gonna talk. We'll talk with you. Don't talk. Uh... <laughs> don't talk. Shut up. By the way, Mr. Layton, I hear you're something of a puzzle connoisseur. Oh no. I am. This puzzle giant. was popular in London when I left. I wonder if you have what it takes to solve it. Watch me, <laughs> Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's a cheap puzzle. Uh-oh. Five suspects are calling. Look, it's one of my wives! For questioning. <laughs> yeah. Some of these are suspicious looking for wife material. Oh my gosh, the turn up boy over there. They give That's the you following talk. statement. A it's all this minute, I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright, so plus yours is going with C. Oh, it's it's going to say my ex-wife. Alright, All right, A says this. He says, says one of the I'll five of B. us is lying. B says, two of the five of us are lying. C, the midget in the middle, says, I know these guys, and three of the five of us are lying. D says this, don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four are lying. And E says this, all five of us are dirty rotten lions. <laughs> <laughs> now the police only want to release the suspects who are telling the truth. How many people should they let go? So how many people are telling the truth? Marvel I'll read through what lying. they said again. A says this. One of the five of us is lying. Are okay. they all innocent then? If they're all lying? Are they not saying who is lying? Just the numbers? Yeah, it says one of them. Uh, B says two of the five of us are lying. C says that he knows everyone and three of the five are lying. 
D says, don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four are lying. Does that include him? No. Out of the five of us, four are lying. I don't know. E, it says, all five of us are dirty, rotten liars. It's Tyler. Uh, so how many people <laughs> should they let go? So let's see what the answer. We can input a number here. How do we know who's telling the truth here, boys? It's not the oh, midget. No. <laughs> it's not the midget. Okay, all right. Turn up. Uh, the guy with the beanie looks a little suspicious. I think they all look suspicious to me. Yeah, they're all hungry. Oh. <laughs> oh. Did, what do their fingers mean? Oh, the gestures. Uh, is that oh, guy like one, telling us who? One, oh, four. I don't believe so. Hmm. I want to say it's E. All five of us are dirty, rotten liars. Remember, what we're trying to do is pick how many people to let go. Never mind. We trust a woman. That's the question. I say... I told you that's why I lost my wife. <laughs> yeah, late. you've had five wives. I know. Oh, exactly. I know when they're lying. I know made. when they're cheating lies. A good professor. I know them cheating right, rotten He says lies. all five of us are dirty, rotten liars. So according to E, no one should get let go. Mm. Who, who, who do I know how to trust? I trust. I trust. No, I, I trust. Turn up guy. Maybe B because he's a nerd. This puzzle <laughs> might look like it's a big mess at first, but it's fairly simple when all is said and done. Take E for example. She says everyone's lying. If she's actually telling the truth, then her statement becomes a lie. And she must be ruled out. Yep, E's a liar for sure. Oh. Oh, I get it. So we can work it from there. So E says we're all liars. So when she says that, that means that not all five of them are liars. Because yeah. she's lying. So that she's admitting her own oh, all right. That makes sense. And so then D, he's telling us that there's someone else here who is not a liar. Mm, I see you. Right? Out of the five of I us, four are lying. So he says that there's four dirty and one good. Four dirty. So, is we know that he is a liar. Oh man, we gotta look at the logic of the statements. I don't know well, we know that he's a liar for sure. Yeah, but she just said we're all lying. Which, if she's lying, then whatever she says is a lie. So, I mean, it's like that's why we cancel her out. But how do we deal with the other guys? D says, don't listen to a word they say. Out of the five of us, four are lying. So he's saying that he's telling the truth and everybody else is lying. If everybody else is lying, then one of the five is lying. That would actually be true. Um, two would be true and three would be true. So D can't be right either, right? Because if he says four are lying... We don't know about the other ones. The other guys know. agree with him, though, don't they? Because they just say one, two, and three are lying. So uh, look at A. If four says A is lying, A says... One person is lying, so if D says he's lying, that doesn't make any sense. Mm. No, for Jimmy's sake, M2 is lying. Yeah, you're right, yeah, you're right, you cut me here. I don't know how to do this one. I don't know either. Yeah. I'm, I'm stumped. We got hand coins. Let's look at another one real quick. Let's roll out another couple of suspects. If A's statement is true, then three other people should be saying the same thing as A. This is not the case. Mm. So A is a liar. If B is telling the truth, two other suspects should say the same thing as B. Once again, this is not the case. So B must be lying. What they're saying, A and B are lying, and E's lying. So it's between two C and D. And I think one is lying and two is lying. One person lying. go. That's what, if we're just answering the amount of people to let go. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that seems it's close. It'd be one or two. Wait, look, C yeah, says, yeah, I know so these guys and three of the five are lying. D says, don't listen to a word they say out of the five of us, four are lying. So he's saying that C is lying. <laughs> I, I it's one like or two, guy. what do y'all think? Out of five, I don't like that guy. Let me say uh, D. No, it's not the number of people. How many people two. should we let go? Three. One. No, it's one or two. I think we'll go with plus two as answer first, and then we'll try something else. <laughs> How dare you? I know my answer. That one's hard. Oh! oh. Ah! 
There we go, boys. Good work. Okay. From the, from the That's start. right. Every suspect oh, accused a guy? different number of people. If anyone was telling the truth, it had to be one suspect. No more or less. The only suspect whose statement fits that condition is D. Okay. You got it. No. I suppose I should have given you a tougher like puzzle to solve. Uh, you do best to use that brain of yours and find that golden apple. Everyone just bought the bow. Give us a case, man. We get out of here. Let's just get out of here. You know what I mean? Let's just get out of here. Pardon me, Mr. M said. I'm so sorry. Pardon me, but what happened upon an adorable picture of you and your daughter Flora a month ago? I'm confused. I don't understand your sentence. <laughs> what happened to your stupid daughter? I beg your pardon? <laughs> you heard me! The picture! You're holding a baby! The one sits in the next to room. I'm sorry, but you must be mistaken. I've never had any children. Yeah. What? Huh? I mean, who? Huh? My apologies, madame. I must have been mistaken. At any rate, time is of the essence here. Go find Raymond and bring him back, would you? I'll try. If that's not Lady Dahlia in the photograph, then who on earth could it be? It's a cat. Maybe she just I think we baby. do well at Taz Butler. A few questions. Perhaps he can clear this up for us. Oh, man. No, not Butler. you. Yeah, yeah, Look at that guy's point. arm. So skinny. <laughs> not so. Ah, uh, Matthew, do you have a moment? Look at me. Of course I have a moment. Certainly, sir. I'm going to help you. It's about the picture of Lady Daria upstairs. The one her, the one of her holding the small child. Sorry. <laughs> Readings, my snot fluke! That Readings! <laughs> That's not Lady Dahlia. I'm afraid it's a picture of Baron Reinhold's former wife. But I yeah. certainly understand why you would mistake one for the other. They were virtually identical in their appearance, their gesture, and even the way they move. Oh, <laughs> even when they pass gas? <laughs> So that photo oh, isn't the lady. That's what the gentleman would ask, Professor. <laughs> like I told you, look, I had five wives. But I'm the only wife uh, of Bernie. Alright, did you read that? I, I did. I tried. Imagine finding someone who looks that much like Now, Luke, if you take lessons yours. from me, you'll find it's easy to get women. I mean, is there a chance that the two are related? Of another? One another? I never heard anything to suggest as much, sir. <laughs> I just happened to, uh, it just happened one day. The Baron arrived home. Yeah, it's not easy, time. is it? It's Lady Dahlia. Sorry to say, that's all I really know about this matter. Not at all. You must. Yeah, uh, yeah you're, uh, you've been most helpful. Thank you, my <laughs> Sir, could I get you a position? You've been like. like stumbling over your words all day. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, it's just, it's hard, it's hard for a uh, professor to read sometimes. How odd, the more I hear, the stranger the whole affair starts to sound. L listen, Luke, when you get my age, you start to stumble a little bit. You start to lose, is what you're saying. Yeah, you start, you start to sound stranger and stranger too, professor. <laughs> <laughs> it's that stinking cat, alright, what are you doing here? Stand, shake it! Catch it, Luke, really eat it! Wait, Wait got he has the glasses. Those are Simon's glasses. Mm. Mm. Right. Uh, those, those are Tyler's glasses. <laughs> Shut up. These are. No. no. These are These Tyler's are glasses. glasses. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was me. Oh, Steve, online. <laughs> These, uh, but how on earth did they end up in here? I knew it. The cat eat Tyler. Hmm. This could yeah, be a clue in the Tyler. investigation. I think it's best if we brought these to Inspector Chen. Go back in already? Yes, it's raining. Let's go. You'll, get, you'll catch a cold. What is the matter, Miss Layton? You know exactly what we expect there. Take a look at these. I don't. <laughs> you know what? You don't. Never mind. Yeah, take a look at these. These glasses belong to Simon. We found them out in the garden. Well, that's weird because in the photo of him dead on the floor, he had them right next to him. That's true. weird and dead. Body. What the? 
Oh, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you just ah! basically fell off the body when it was being carried out of the village. That's what it was. So, you have enough time to manage the village lost and found. Should you be searching for the Reinhold inheritance or whatever it is you're supposed to be doing. Of course, you continue to interrupt my investigation as to my ideas about what you can do. My sincerest apologies, Inspector. Oh, thanks. Screw off. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that chimney one bit. I don't either. I told him to go eat dirt earlier. He reeks of smoke. And he's so full of himself and the way he treats you, Professor. Mm, I see. Just <laughs> <too> <laughs> I can hear you. Hey, you want me to come with Yeah, you want some of this? <laughs> <laughs> Right now, we have other priorities. Let's go ask around town and find Raymond. That's probably the best I've ever read one. Like, insulting people. <laughs> I can hear you! Secretly. You want some? Oh, this dude's character, the pig lady. <laughs> yeah. yeah! There's a puzzle here, we'll do that. I think there's a puzzle. Huh? <laughs> Look, there's a hole in that boat there. Oh, Professor, that reminds me. Have you ever heard of the one about the sinking ship? I don't we think I have. Please tell Whisper me, Luke. This one right here. Oh, we missed this one. What? This is Puzzle 13. You gotta solve it, Tyler. What? SOS. Why I solve it? SOS 15 people Tyler. are trapped aboard a ship that's gonna sink in exactly 20 minutes. Their only chance for survival is a five-person life raft stowed on their vessel. To make matters worse, the waters around the ship are teeming with man-eating sharks. So swimming to safety is out of the question. A round trip to the nearest island and back to the boat takes nine minutes on the raft. How many people will live to see the dry land? Is this like math? Oh my god. 20 gosh. minutes. Alright, so we got two people. We can hold five people, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, five so people tight. in a raft. It takes nine minutes to go from the island and back. So you can leave the ship, go to the island, and come back in nine minutes. But we've only got 20 minutes until the, sink, the ship sinks. What do y'all think? What's your chances? Lean closer to lick the brown trip. Does everybody agree with that one? But like the brown trip. I wasn't joking about it. I think it's the two. Really? But like it's nine minutes there and back, so that's two yeah, trips. Yeah. So is like. So okay, this is what happens, right? There's twenty people, right? There's fifteen. There's fifteen people. Yeah, and it's twenty minutes left before they. Oh, well, then everyone survives. Really? Well, anyways, what happens? So if there's 20 minutes and 15 people, then nine minutes for the raft there and back. So the first nine minutes, there's five people already on the island and the raft back. And then um, for another nine minutes, that's 18 minutes, and there's five people on the raft, and there's two minutes left. So they oh, can get on the raft, and then He's right. Links. So it's 15. Oh, Plus, this don't. is the smartest I've ever heard you. <laughs> and sometimes yours is dumb as a kite. That's true. <laughs> I well, know, I was about to say that. You blind sack of dirt. I you a chance, Tyler but I don't know what happened there. What? I, am I really was right. Know. You're as dumb as a kite. I was One person must stay on the raft in order to pilot it back to the boat and pick oh, up more passengers. You know I am an idiot. And I they can't just sit in an empty boat. So, so wait, that would be 14? Well, it means they drop off four people each time instead of five. Mm. I don't know why I thought the, the So you can still make three back. trips like Plush Dude says. But it's it's four by three and then the final one will have another extra person. So that's thirteen. So I think two people would die. What's the question? How many people will live? I would say thirteen, but what do y'all think? That's what I think. I think it's thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, let's see. Well, well. It feels a little too easy, doesn't it? All right, we'll think a little bit more then. Okay. <laughs> no, no, you can still submit it. It's probably right. Well, we got three trips. We know we can only do three trips. You're uh, right about that. The first two trips, he has to drive the boat back and forth. So he can only carry eight passengers in the first two trips. The final trip, he counts the passengers. Oh, okay. So that's four people each time, plus himself at the very end, gives us 13. 
Yeah, it seems right to me. The two people yes, die. Uh... Deadly and Tyler, that's the ones we left out there. Uh, I, I <laughs> no! <laughs> Very good. There we go. Sherlock Holmes. Well, what a great answer, Professor. It took me five times as long to get that. Where are you, stupid Luke? I tried, Professor. Alright, well, here's what you I tried, Professor. I try. I really do. Look at you, fretting away there. What's the matter? Whatever's the matter. Oh, no. Sorry to trouble you, but did you see Rome, uh, Raymond around here today? <laughs> <laughs> he was here until just a while ago. Until just a while ago. Uh, I can't say I've seen him today. Darling! <laughs> right now, how often he speaks about the sneaks off the jewel. I can't remember how the voice was, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember this <laughs> bit. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. What? She's just gonna give us a puzzle? Would <laughs> you mind helping me out with my crossword puzzle I've been mulling over? Oh, right now? We're set up in the middle of something right now. Give away the puzzle! But if you insist, <laughs> Luke, concerns of the ocean. Screw up, old lady! One line puzzle. Number one. Okay. Series. Have you heard of one line puzzles? The idea is to place your pen to paper and draw a shape without lifting your pen from the oh, pad or retracing easy. any part of the line. You can, however, cross lines. Now that you're familiar with the concept, look at the four pictures below. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Which is it? The house. I think it says circle with the line in it. I'm going to say it's the car. I think the circle could be done. That's you, probably the one that's like the easiest. I yeah, 100%. Because yeah. you go down, I do a circle, go down, do a circle, and then go down, do it again. I do think it is the house. <laughs> it looks simple, but like I've, I've, it's the thing I've heard about before. It, it, it's the house that looks like, yeah. And we oh, will yeah. take plus dude's word. I think that's a good guess. Yes. Oh, he smile. It's good. There you go. Which one was it? But you defeated the pig lady yet again. <laughs> Too bad I am the pig lady. Ah. Oh, well, you defeat yourself every day. There you go. Yeah, you're right. All right. We don't care how we solved it. We solved it. There's your face right there. We stuck on this puzzle for him. How old are you? I'm fighting someone right now. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Hey, you there, boy. I just had a terrible vision of you running into trouble tonight. Oh, man, another person is pulling up on me. Someone take my place. So be careful out there, all right? Hey, get away. Oh, yeah, you're good at one. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, oh, I saw. Welcome. Play, uh, piece yeah, it's not, it's not easy, is it? <laughs> but don't worry about me, because I don't scare easily. You found another strange kids my wife. We got a bunch of these at this point. We can All make right, a gizmo machine. Ramon. Let's go find Ramon. Oh, no. It's Deadly's character and Deadly's gone. We'll have to get Tyler Moto to stop in. Well, can I come back? It was mine. Yeah, you can go back. Yeah, I'm one. Come back. What's his name? Mark? Marco. Hey, you two, uh, what are you up to? Let me in on your secrets. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. Oh, tell me. I told you I got it. <laughs> I'm searching for somebody, huh? Hitting the streets for info, yeah? I'm sorry, I hadn't seen you, man. We didn't even ask anything yet. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Get off Snapchat, Layton. <laughs> Are you sure? You didn't see or hear anything that might help us? How did you know I was on Snapchat? You said it earlier in the background. Oh, well, haha, I was not. I was on Discord. Uh, oh, all right. I got okay. nothing for you. Quit asking me about it. Sheesh. <laughs> I see. I'm awfully suspicious, aren't I? Well, in any case, thank you for your time. 
problem. You lazy oh, potato yeah. and man. Look, maybe crazy search. Two crazy kids and a crazy search, right? Right? I mean, look, here, I'm a crazy old man. I would definitely oh. do not go poking around the tower on the north side of town. Got it? Yeah, yeah, you got it. I think we need to go to the tower. By the way. All right, look. The tower on the north side of town. Who is my voice? How do you even get to that? Put it down. <laughs> <laughs> look, are you okay? Do you remember that clock tower in the square? I do, actually. I believe we must pass through it to, to get to the north side of town. Let's go check it out. We must pass through the clock tower? Yes, we must go through, like, literally through the brick and to the other side of it. Alright. Sounds like Granny's having a stroke over there. That's the clock tower you're talking about, right, Professor? No, <laughs> you tool. Yes, quite, actually. Hmm, someone's standing under the entrance. How odd. <gasps> oh, no, no, it's, it's... Let's deal with Percy again in one. Ah, uh, perfect. <laughs> Oh, Percy. Hello, Percy. Oh, oh Percy, Percy and Luke together. Did you oh, and this thing about a murder at the Brighton Old Mansion? Luke, can I voice them? No. In one oh. voice this one. We'll give you another one another time. Aw, oh, I've got a perfect accent. Too bad. A murder in oh, our little village. The very fat can be killed. <laughs> no, I was going to do <laughs> a Scottish voice accent. Oh, excuse my insensitivity. I'm just always on the lookout for new ideas. How can I help you? We're looking for uh, Ramal. We're looking for Raymond. Have you seen? No, we're Raymond? looking for uh, Ramen. <laughs> I, <laughs> no, I, I can't say that I've seen him yet. <laughs> but I've eaten some. It was tasty. <laughs> but if you search around town and has turned up nothing, he's probably at the park or in the tower. The tower, I mean. You know, somewhere the villagers don't know to go. <laughs> hey, tower, it. huh? Well, you, you should stay as far from that. Tower as possible. There are all sorts of bad rumors about it. <coughs> <laughs> it so seems that way. We keep running into people who say that. The old lady's still lingering around. I Just what are the rumors? Shut up, you old hag! Just, you know, bad stuff. It's not very helpful. Bad, bad stuff. <laughs> There's something really scary about the town. Alright, we gotta deal with Deke again, I think. Oh, there it is. That's a pretty spooky tower. Look at that. Oh, really? I'm stay up. Gravity! <laughs> Alright, here's Deke. Deadly played Deke last time. He's not here, so Tyler, I'll you have to play Deke. He's here! <laughs> Come read it, fool! You're giggling in the background. Gregly Blunter! <laughs> You've been pretty deep. He's talking to us, right? If you want to pass through here, you need to have solved at least I'm sure we did. 12 puzzles first. We did that, Deke. Don't worry. Uh, but it looks like you've already done that. No crap. I guess I just lied to you then. You did, you just heard. I don't really want to pass through here. You also have to go to solve one more puzzle. Uh-uh, I knew it. First, you, Deke, you and your puzzles, strange dots. The dice below look normal enough, but if you look carefully, you should see a pattern start to emerge. I'll be back. You know the following. All right. A equals zero, B equals nine, mm. and C equals six. So what does D correspond to? M2, FYI, M1 had to BRB real quick. Three. I heard. Okay. Thank you, though. Yeah. Three? Did, where did you pull that from? Zero. Uh, A is three, zero. Nine, B is nine. nine C is six. If yeah, if you go by a clock, that definitely looks right to me. I actually think three is a good guess. What do y'all think? Hold on. If you look at B. It's at the nine o'clock yeah, position. I was about to say. Yeah. I, oh yes. Okay. Yeah. I see. It actually, it's three. How did plush dude see this? I see it. I don't, I don't know. I would have laughed if that thing would not have saw three. It was just like seven. <laughs> thirty-five. <laughs> I see thirty-five o'clock, baby. Thirty-five o'clock is military. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. Plush dude just solved that. Just backhanded that puzzle. Your brain has. Kind of makes sense. I don't know. He saw, he saw okay. the movements with his brain. 
No, I, I was reading that. Wait, no. <laughs> you, you've earned it, mister. So come on through. That's yeah, Mr. Sir to you. Are you still after that scary cat? <laughs> no, we skinned it earlier. We're looking for oh. the uh, Renholds employee now. He's a man by the name of Rimmin. Rim Ramen. Ramen. <laughs> you haven't seen him about, have you? Robin? Oh. Ha <laughs> um, yeah. I think I, I might have. Oh, gosh. Where did I see that guy? Hmm. Maybe you're better off asking someone else. You idiot stick. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> 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 that would be me. Uh, I'd be him. Well, oh god, I feel like I have Tyler's character. <laughs> Those are eyeballs right there. Here's a good yeah, what here. can I use eyes balls for? Hmm, I can see through them. You have a berry I can eat? <laughs> <laughs> no, you fool. Them too? Oh yeah, we can finally pass through the clock tower to the north side of town. How exciting. Can't wait to see what's in store for us there. <laughs> Luke, what happened to you, boy? Keep up, you old man. <laughs> right, let's talk to this kid. I'll do oh. this one. No, no, Tyler, do this one for us, please. Oh, no, I know. Hey, hey, hey! Uh, <laughs> I can't like what you do. doing, man? Oh, shut Oh God. I can tell you, you want to ask me something, but would you mind? I hope you die off fast. <laughs> I can this hear crazy little girl. brother and I came with this other one together. Let's see how good Tyler's puzzle is. Alright, a boy and his big sister are sitting around a kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age, huh? Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that and I'll be three times your age? Just how old is each sibling? He must be very young, so I can say. <laughs> okay, so from what I understand, in the first instant, we have the sister, and the kid is saying that if you take two years off of her actual age. Wait a minute. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you. Okay, so he's taking two years from him and putting it on her, and she'd be twice his age. Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that, and then I'll be three times your age, he says. Okay. It could be something like he's seven and she's eight. But how would he, how would she become twice? Okay, yes, he'd be, so he gave away two, two then he'd be, he'd what are you saying? He'd be five and ten. Okay, five and ten, that would work. What if about... He's definite numbers. So, uh... What if you take away three from him, and then you give it to her? Four and eleven. I don't know how that works. That's yeah, it needs one. to be the three time. If they're the same age, or close to the same age. <clears throat> they couldn't be... Mm -hmm. You know, says if I took away two years from me and gave them to you, You'd be twice my age, so that'd be two. But well, why don't you just give me one more of you, one more on the top of that? That'd be three, and I'll be three times your age. Let me look at what the answers um, have for us. Okay, we can input a an age for the girl and for the boy. All right. mm. But we don't know their existing age. No, we don't. We don't. I like the idea of eight. I'm actually gonna start with them both being. Six. If we take off, we have four and eight. If they're both six years old, if we take three off the first one, then we've got three and nine. That would work. If they're both six years old, that would work. Oh yeah, try that. Oh, I was about to use my keyboard. I forgot. I got to try to draw these out. Yeah, <laughs> these beautiful works of art. Hey, I'm working on a mouse. Yeah, <laughs> work better. <laughs> Now you have to draw with a mouse. Smile, you mook. Oh, there we go. We did it. That's crazy. Tyler, you dropped, but your puzzle was just not enough. 
You put the one gun on that one. I got ya. <laughs> Was that too easy for you, Olam? Oh. Shut your mouth, you little brat. Was that too easy for you? Oh well. Hey, you, 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 you. See him too, it's not hard. <laughs> I tell you. Ramen. He looks stated, but boy, does he boy. like his life? He's buddies with that party animal, Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis? I don't believe I know the man. Where am I to find him? Well, you see, Jarvis isn't that type of the place value is beginning. Good thing, good thing for him, boy. Wait a minute, what's wrong with Lucy, guys? There's a lot of stuff. With Lucy. <laughs> Someone dropped her. <laughs> Someone dropped her out of the second story window when she was a child. <laughs> At this time of day, he's probably lazy about around those steps to the north. Yeah, it's steps somewhere. <laughs> Just head up north until you hit a fork in the road. Hey, then take the north path north. to the right. Okay, I have to go okay. now. I have to take a big wicked class right now. Okay, that's a crud, Tyler. <laughs> Of course, the poo master here. Oh, uh, right, I, I mean, okay. This conversation with this vulgar kid. Go enjoy your crap, kid. <laughs> I got a hit coin. I got another one. Oh my goodness, I'm on a roll. And uh, poke the cat. Uh oh. I'm gonna poke the cat. Poke the cat, Professor. It's not Claudia, is it? No. no, no it's like not a that dog. ugly feline. It is a different cat. Yes, it's an alley cat. Judging by the way he bullies that poor mouse, is a rather mean one at that. Ah, uh, yes, Luke, speaking of mice, have you heard of this uh, of this one before? Alright, okay. Let's see what this riddle is. Too many mice. Mice are famous for their ability to multiply at breakneck speeds. The type of mouse we have here gives birth once a month, birthing 12 babies each time. That's a lot. Yeah, oh my goodness. Baby mice mature and can give birth two months after they're born. Oh my goodness. Is this actually true? I yeah. believe it is. Wow. They don't live very long though. That's scary. Yep. Yeah. You picked up one of these darling baby mice at the pet shop and brought it home. To eat. The <laughs> day after it was born. In ten months from now, how many mice will you have? Ten times twelve. What's ten times well, guys, twelve? Just, we brought one mouse home. Wait, 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 wait. After two months, so then eight, eight times twelve. And then but we only have one mouse. Yeah. Twelve yeah, babies each time in one month. One month and twelve. Multiply? How many are there, or how many times has it gotten pregnant? How many with one mouse can you get? Oh. Can you get it now? Ten yeah. times one. Now I feel dumb. Ten. It's one. Yeah, one. It should be one. This <laughs> so like ten. Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Whoopsie, I could be wrong. Ooh, but I... Unless this mouse is randomly a pregnant mouse that they got. Should just be one mouse at the end of ten months. Unless it died, I mean. Come on, Luke, don't put me. There we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. Darn straight. Of That's right. Look, your mouth can't birth any babies by itself. There you go. Reality strikes again. Professor, you're just staring off at the wall. I'm not correct, actually. Excellent work, Luke. <laughs> you sound confused. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm always and not. <laughs> exactly. Let's go look. We must find uh, the ramen. This way. <laughs> this way. All right. Oh, oh. my goodness. All right. We got plastic. What about this? Look at this guy right here. I'll do it. Hey, Mr. M, you want this guy? Yes, I'll do it. 
Alright, who are we clicking on first, I, boys? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, do me. We do clutch you. Come here, Granny. Yeah, oh, dear, your fortune for this fucking look this abysmal for. Oh, crap, are you kidding me now? Someone's shooting me. Grandma, get off Fortnite! Entire game. So wait, and I think she's not long for this world, if you know what I mean. <laughs> you know what, Luke? Oh, seems to be getting worse. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> I don't want to die. Ugh. I recommend solving the puzzle if you I want to avoid. I recommend solving my puzzle if you want to avoid it. I bet. Yep. I didn't hear what you said, but I heard fate, so I knew I could go on. <laughs> oh, it's a one-line puzzle, too. Okay. I'm good plus you to solve this last one. It's the same idea. You don't pick up your pencil, you don't retrace a line. Look at the four pictures. One of them cannot be drawn with one line. Probably the hat. The hat, okay. I know it seems a little like, it, it wouldn't seem like it, but if you can't retrace a line, then, uh, well, yeah, you can't, you can't retrace a line. Yeah, you're right. It. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Plus she's just knocking these out of the park. Wrong. There it is. Luke, you're back. I'm a, I'm a massive genius. It's the a genius. The it's at least the third one. Good. Oh, it's the pig lady again. It's quick. Almost just picking my nose. I don't know. Were you that scared of a month's worth of bad luck? Yes. Must be terrible luck if you're running into me a third time. Well, yeah, you I'm ugly, you, you ugly witch. Nothing you can do to change shape. You'll just have to tough it out, tougher than my nose. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. This lady's crazy. This, this is Mr. M's new sleazy character. Oh, this is my grandson, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> His name is Zeppone. Oh, uh, he is. So what is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just yes, suspect. I can tell from here, sir. You have something you want to ask me? No. Don't even try to hide it, sir. It's in your eyes. I can ask you many after you solve this puzzle. Is that a tavern behind them? Because everybody around here is a little drunk, maybe. Shut your mouth. All right. Oh, it's, no, I wasn't even going to ask right, you. This is a pretty low-value puzzle, but here we go. Here is an overhead view of a cluster of tropical islands. Oh, poo. If you travel from start to goal, so there's start in pink, there's goal down there, your objective is to visit every island exactly one time. The island folks say this can be accomplished with the addition of a single straight bridge. The only other rule is that your bridge cannot cross over any pre-existing bridge. So where should you put? Where should your bridge go? Oh, we've got to go to every island. Oh, sweet mom, this hurts the brain. What can I draw? I can gotta draw. Hmm, hurts. You have to go to every island once. Yeah, you travel from start to goal, visit every island oh, exactly one time. I see it. I see it. It's from the pink house to the castle, or the lighthouse down low, that way, pink roofed house, up that to the castle. That? So, like, yeah, you go from start to the top, over the lighthouse, down, blue house, down, and then you go pink house, lighthouse, blue, uh, blue roofed house, down, and then all the way up to the Yeah, top. you're right, right, I think you're right. Let's see, oh, in one's brain big. Good job, Luke. Yeah, my goodness, someone, that was amazing. The key to success is my nostrils. <laughs> sniff, sniff. Just like expected, a fellow detective. You still get the puzzles to the forbidden sir. <laughs> no, I think he's being sarcastic just now. <laughs> you know, I, I believe. <laughs> that <laughs> is a person. It's the eyes, I say. They never lie. And when I do, nice kill you. I know. <laughs> we got a right, tongue. Got nice. Right. I love how I stood there and didn't say anything. I was just like, okay. What do we go? To the right? To the left? Behind me. <laughs> you know what? Behind, behind Granny. 
Oh my goodness. Oh. And one. <laughs> Wait, I heard a deadly in the background. Do you want to voice act, my boy? All right, let's have deadly play this wrinkled old man. Gerd. <laughs> That's his name, is Gerd. British deadly. You probably just get big corn around me. I could have sworn I dropped you one lovely one somewhere nearby. What? Yeah, let me guess, you dropped a hundred dollar bill, is that what you're trying to say? Is there anybody lost the big old rubber band? Nowadays, you know, replacing them with the rubber band. Mighty expensive. I've become quite a beauty. This is deadly. Tiny Monty Mata. I bet that would have been great with an Irish oh, accent. This is a real low level puzzle. <gasps> Perfect. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, fudge. Oh my goodness. A rope and coin are arranged as shown below. As you pull the ends of the rope, out to the left and right, the rope will draw taut and push the coins to either side. Assuming you only get to keep the coins that end up on the top half of the rope, how many coins will you have? Ah, oh, this one hurts. It is not. My, I'm already almost done. I thought it was low tier. It's dirt. It's low tier, but uh, it sucks. I hate it. Oh, I followed it. Alright, so if they pull the rope taut, how many go to the top half? Oh, God. I don't know. I have no idea either. Hold on. This is a hard one. I'm following it too, M1. I mean, M2. <laughs> two. Three, I did one right four, there. Five, six. Oh, this is confusing. Seven. I don't know what it means by tight. Eight, nine. Tight. I don't know. Yeah, tight. Yeah, it's tight. 14. I don't, know. I, I don't know how I don't know how rope would work. I want to say 14. <laughs> how many are inside of a loop or something? It's oh, what say if you have a rope yeah. around a big ball, a big basket of balls. When you pull the rope, the basket moves with it. How much in that rope are you pushing forward when you pull it? Oh, you're dumb. That only confused me. <laughs> Alright, whatever. I'm just dumb. Never mind. 14. I counted 14. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I say 10, but we'll go with Mr. 14 because I don't know. Let's see. Can I draw a 4? That's... The fudge was that? Alright, okay. This is not how I normally draw a Thank four. God. There we go. Oh. 14. That's Mr. M's vote. I hope it's 14. I really do, because I don't want to have to come back to this one. Nah. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. Oh, what do we do? What do we do now? You said him. Um, Maybe 10. I will try. Give me that. You know why I chose 10? It's easier to draw. There we go. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. 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 like, uh. yeah. yeah, stupid I Luke! Know. You guess, you guess. Come on, you guess. that crap, I will be quite an unhappy person. He's doing a good job. <laughs> okay, somebody else give me a random guess. Seven. Seven? Oh, I say, I say number two. <laughs> two? That's kind of low. Um, 11, fine, oh crap, I just threw a chunk of, I, sorry, I, I say 11. I think that it is more than 7. He's upset now. We should just get a hint, why didn't we just do that? This isn't really worth much, but yeah, we can get a hint. There's no special trick, you just need to be diligent and confident, don't give me that! 
Don't give me the diligent dog. Can we skip it? <laughs> uh, yeah, maybe we could do that. We need all the pirates we can yeah, get. We will quit it. Oh. I'm sorry, Deadly, you're gonna be bankrupt. Some help you out. Got your own pennies, you mook. Oh, we can go forward. Imagine the guy's just like, oh no! Oh my goodness! A kid! Oh want some God. candy? You have a chin for a, uh, a... A chin? Alright, who wants this guy? Who wants I this I request guy? strongly. Alright, Pushers, here you go. Man, this guy has a nose. That's the thing, because he's the yeah, grandson. Look, I don't feel comfortable around this guy. I can't understand what he's saying. I don't know. <laughs> you wonder why you get nosebleeds. Is that Raffle Mister Hilton? But recently they just vanished. Hey, like Cosman Wanda, you can't walk the streets alone. <laughs> yeah, really. really? <laughs> Could you please elaborate a bit more? Because barely could understand your freaking schnoz on what you know of these mysterious disappearances. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man. It's not. Can't <laughs> you probably have better luck. Are you okay? Everybody's <laughs> sick in his town. Oh, better luck with the pain. Well, stuff like this. That Luigi knockoff. I hear he's in the know about pretty much everything. Mama always said. Zapone, you say? Where might we find this person? Lose the wild one. You really? <laughs> what is that? You didn't bump into him on your way here. He's a slouchy guy with that fancy little moustache. You will know him when you see him. And I know him when I smell him. <laughs> <laughs> Luke! Yeah, hey, mine. Oh, <laughs> wow, uh, my voice is dying. Oh, it's okay, I'm until it. you do it. I didn't even think. Yeah, until you do it, it's gonna start to hurt. to catch a lead on this kind of man that is sort of a bloody word, like I said. Mm, I understand. The day is far from over, Luke. You're such a scoundrel. Let's see what else we can find out here by asking okay, around. My role model had five wives. I can't help <laughs> be a scoundrel. You can't, you, let me tell you. Let's go around and ask. All right, we're going to go search around. Yeah. Do you suppose he'll have a puzzle for us? Should we risk speaking with this man again? No. <laughs> no I mean, we need to go oh, find the really butler. Let's get out here. Oh, really? Oh, my goodness. What is that? I'll do this thing. Uh, I'm shooting the llama. Lend me an ear, would ya? Alright, here you go. Ah! I like your expert opinion on this puzzle. It won't take but a minute. Oh, you didn't even get to say anything. Right. <laughs> How old is Jad? He's dirty. A father and son are chatting, and the son poses the question. Dad, 22. All right, give me that voice. I'm 22 now, but just how old are you? <laughs> the father replies, you want to know how old your old man is? Eh? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm as old as your age, plus half of my age. A bad oh, father. Dad. How old is the father? That literally tells us nothing. Okay, so let's see. I'm as old as your age plus half of my age. How old's the father? It's 22 plus something. How old? How in the world would we know? Exactly. 
Just to figure out what half is this. How old is your age? Because it's half my age. Wait, could we set up an equation for this? I don't think it would require math for us to do this. It should just be. Math I'm, I'm genuinely trying to think of something. I feel like you know it doesn't it doesn't look like it, but the answer's got to be in the question somewhere. Hmm. Like, I feel like we have to go off of 22 twice. Oh crap! I'm getting shot at. Sorry. <laughs> it's always whenever I 22. start to look at my screen. I haven't seen anybody this entire game either. Yeah, this doesn't make now sense. Like, can we get at least an A? Like when he first was born? Like the dad? Let's get a hint real quick. We got some hint coins. It sounds convoluted, yes, but look again at what's been presented. I'm as old as your age plus half of my age. This means that if you take away half of the father's age, you'll have the age of the son. Wait, hold on. Let me read that. Let me read that. Because I'm as old as, as your age, old. so he is what? 22 plus half of his age. Of my age. Yeah. Plus half. The age we don't know. What's half of 22? 11. 11. I so was thinking, like, I 33? <laughs> I tried it already in my head, Pat. It doesn't make sense. He has gray hair. 33? Don't pay attention to what he looks like. I don't think that's going to help you. I want to say 33. I had 33 in my head, but it just sounds stupid. No. That means he gave birth to him at the age of 11. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't have given birth since he's Same a man, thing, but... Right? You don't know! <laughs> could be like a seahorse! I don't think that would... He's a seahorse. <laughs> I know, but he's a seahorse. That's what it is. Okay, so this means if you take away half of the father's age, you'll have the age of the son. Well, we knew that. And we know the son is 22. Nick Zero says... It doesn't really help much. 22 you solve it then! What? Exactly! Yeah, you go twice! We don't know what! Ha -ha. 11? <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> you see, it's tricky. Like I do math. Too hard. We'll get another hand. We'll get another hand. I don't uh, think it's gonna be math because it's a puzzle. So, all right. What the father is essentially saying here is that if you add half of his age to the son's age, you'll get the father's age. I know that. <laughs> If that's the case, the son's age must be half of the father's age. But how would you assume that? Yeah, let me look at this. If you so add half of his age to the son's age, get so the father's 44 age. 44 plus 22? Well, if the son's age is half of the father's age, then the father's 44 is what they're saying. But I don't see how that... I don't understand the explanation of how that works. I guess okay. the, 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 the right then. I guess he's uh, 33 then. He can't be 33. He can't be 33 and have a 22 year old kid. Alright. I'm as old as your age plus half of mine. Then I guess so he's 44. No, or 34. 33? No, it, no, 33, we already rolled that out. <laughs> I'll try whatever y'all want. If you want to put it in 33, we can. I think my best, or the best, I, I'm gonna say 44, try, I want to say either 66 or 44, those are my only guesses. Yeah, here's the second hint says, what the father's essentially saying here is that if you add half of his age to the son's age, then you'll get the father's age. If that's the case, the son's age must be half of the father's age. If they're saying that, then it has to be 44. If the son's age is really half of the father's age, then it's got to be 44. Yeah. Oh, it's hard to draw fours on here. Let's see if it works. It's buddy for buddy, I guess. There it is. That I was like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that Makes a lot of sense. Yeah. That was all good. Yeah, don't no, give us the explanation. 
Oh, I actually set up this math equation. That's, that's funny that they went that way. I was I was gonna I, I wrote it out and I was like, no, nah, they won't use math. It can't be math. There it is. Yeah. Huh. I guess I was on the right track all along. You were not. We saved your rear. Thanks for your help, boys. <laughs> Sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. Good day. Alright, we got a strange gizmo. How old is dad? I don't know. How about you, like, uh... Look at his driver's license or something. We got a meet the pony. <laughs> I think he was... Now what kind of bad. dad forces that kid to do math? Well, 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 if it isn't the greasy Zapone himself. Looking into a mysterious experience around the village, are you? <laughs> I can barely understand this guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me give you a take on the situation. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is there something the matter? Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, yeah, now I remember. Who are you? If it's the rumors you're after, take a trip from the fellow detective and go ask Crouton. Crouton? Go ask Crouton. <laughs> he owns the <laughs> restaurant. He owns the restaurant. It's perfect. He's Crouton, the waiter. All right. Well, it's nine o'clock. What do you say? Is this a good stopping spot, or do we want to go find Crouton? Um, Crouton. I say Crouton, then we stop after we do probably a puzzle from him. <laughs> All right, let's find Crouton. Where did Crouton? <laughs> he said he owned a restaurant. Why are they both still here? I don't want to talk to either one of them. I don't want to hear Pig Woman back. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I guess. Is there any other route to take? Are you Crouton? Is he Crouton? What was his name? I don't think it was. Archibald. <laughs> Alright, but that is not very helpful. No, I'm not. I guess we gotta go look for some doorways or something. The cafe has it open for the day. What do you mean it has it open for the day? You gotta open. And we'll talk to Pig Lady. Hopefully she'll help us. I hope you don't die. No, I... you know. Goodbye. Let's run. <laughs> oh, there's a little dark other way here. Huh? Oh, Professor, there's a puzzle hidden here. Shut up. This will be the final puzzle, then. We'll find Crouton later. 107, a worm's dream. <laughs> Dirt. This worm's life dream is to make it to the center of the apple. Complete this oh, slide oh, puzzle. Slide. And help him realize his dream. With only eight pieces to manage, this task might seem easy, but there's probably, uh, but it's probably harder than you suspect. Okay. Wait, where is the worm? <laughs> oh, all right, there he is. So we just gotta build the apple around wow. him. Worm don't move. That crazy. What? This is oh like man, me. yeah, I don't like this. Into his all you. Yeah, it is, unfortunately. Slide puzzles are really hard. I hate yeah. this because I gotta pull this around. Oh, you ha it's counting your moves! I know. We're close. I need to get rid of this thing right here. And put it up there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I gotta do the ring around the rosy with this thing. Alright. No, good luck. I'm heading out. Alright, thanks for coming, Pleasure. I'm too to understand. It's very close, but I don't have it just yet. This gotta go here. Where's the top? I need that one. So I need that one in this thing's position. Let me try to work that around. Ooh. Okay, that's working. I'm gonna take all my moves. It's gonna be annoying. Oh man, I need to have this guy here. This, oh, I need to swap these two? Ah, oh, come on, man. Very annoying. Very Oh, I hate it. I see it. I'm a stupid worm. 
All right, let me pull them all down. I think I just messed it up, unfortunately. Yeah, I need this one here now. Ah, come on, man. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll quit this one out. We'll come back down. That's mainly me, anyways. Yeah, we'll try it another day.